everybody, I'm the Flaming Witch, but you can call me Flamin. Welcome back to more Purgatory. In the last video, we left off... Where did we leave off? Oh yeah, we learned of... We learned of Natalie's uh, Nocturnal webcomic that she was writing before she died. Um, we finished off all... We finished off four, so we, fin we are more than halfway done. Uh, finishing off everyone's stories. Um, I think that's about it, right? So nocturnal, huh? Nocturnal, dude. The closest I'll ever get to having a baby. How'd you get started? How'd you get into what, making a webcomic? It was on my bucket list for a while, actually. I mean, I've been making art since I was a kid, but when I turned 25, I was like, I'm well on my way to a midlife crisis. I might as well shake things up. And it went so much better than I could have expected. That's cool. The other things on my bucket list were to bowl a perfect game and run a D&D campaign, but I didn't have the time to get around to that. Isn't bowling a perfect game, like, really rare? Yeah, but I like to dream big. I wanted to be an astronaut until I was like 17. Wow. So yeah, Natalie's story is- so these are the characters that are done. We, so we finished uh, Tori, Natalie, Elijah, and Sean's uh, stories. So we have Kilgren's son, Oliver, and Numa left. We were fin we were doing- um. Numa story. So let's go back. Uh, so let's go. F was oh right, we were looking for Elijah. That's what we were doing. Okay, still nothing. We were looking for Elijah. Where would he be? Uh, depending on how long this takes, I might just skip until I find him again. So I guess we'll see you there. Hey, Flame. About Noom's poem. So you write poetry, you write a lot of poetry, right? Noom was looking for help writing a poem and I thought maybe you'd be interested? Hey, I'm down. What does she need help with? Uh, I don't suppose you know any rhymes for orange. Hmm, that's a tough one, man. Tough one. Porridge, maybe? Hmm. Or melange? What's that? It means a mixture of things. It comes from the French. Oh, cool. So why exactly is she trying to rhyme with orange? I don't know. It might be better if we talk to her directly. Sure, sure. Should we go see her now? Sure. Well, lead the way. You walk into the garden with Elijah, and Numa looks up at you as you approach. Oh, hey guys. What brings you to the garden? I recruited Elijah to help you with your poem. Wait, what? Only if you feel comfortable with it. Only if you feel comfortable. I get it. Poetry isn't easy. But feedback's the number one way to getting better, So, or so I'm told. Um, I guess so. It's just sort of personal. Okay, I get it. Really do. I don't need to know why or how you or whom you're writing this poem, but if you want to do a little judgment-free workshopping, I can help with that. And if not, just say the word and I'll leave you to your writing and never mention it again. Um, I see. Well, the truth is, I really could use your help. No problem, man. You want to share what you have so far? Alright. Ahem. It goes like this. Roses are white. Violets are white. To me, you are a shining light. What do you think so far? That's a strong start, man. Classic formula with a witty twist. All good things. Though I'm wondering how you'd feel about a different word in the last, like, blazing. A, a blazing light? Oh, I like that. Seems like you should give him time to work. Okay. So if you had to compare your mysterious crush to something, what would it be? Hmm. I don't know. Don't think about it too hard. Just say the first thing that comes to mind. Um, okay. A lamppost. A lamppost? Because she's tall and bright, I guess. Alright, we can work with this. This seems like it's only time. Oh, okay. So I guess we're not, I guess we're done helping Numa for now? Beh. Yeah, me too. <laughs> this healing. Oh. Alright, I guess we're gonna go help Oliver then because he's the only one left hey Oliver Oliver huh oh hello sorry can I help you with something how's your work going uh still looking for a foothold the veneer cipher was the dead end but maybe an eye find cipher can I help um no thank you are you sure don't think this is the wrong way but 
You look exhausted. Really, I'm fine. I can help you clean, keep you company. Flame! I'm serious. I don't need any help. So, some space, please. Well, I think you do need help. Staying cooped up in here isn't healthy for you. You should at least let me get you something to drink. Please? Well, I suppose I am a bit parched. Some orange soda would be nice. Alright, you got it. One orange soda coming right up. Thank you. Oliver goes back to scribbling without another word. I know where the orange soda is. I was I found it when I was a... Uh, well, I rediscovered it, I guess I should say. Water cooler. Full of orange soda. If you had a cup, you could get some for Oliver. wonder where you can find one. Oh. Huh. Where would I be able to find a cup? Wait, what? 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 Freedom? Salvation this way? What the? Kilgan's son! I can't believe. I can't. I can't believe I ate the whole thing. The whole what? Thing. What did Kyogun son eat? Pile of half eaten debris. Some sort of. Some part of a poster. Isn't this metal? How did she eat that? I have no clue what this might have been. Are you. Okay? Ugh. So full. How did she even get in here? How did she even get in here? Okay, well, I figured out what the snow globes did. Um. Vending machine. Okay, uh. Oh, wait. I know where cups are. Oops. No. What's that cat doing here? It's about dangerous close to the edge. You can use the stick of Oliver's and soda. As you reach over the class, the, class, the cat looks eyes with you. Don't you dare. Oh my god. Damn it. Bad cat. Can't open it because someone forgot to draw handles on them. Okay. Well. Oh. Flame? What was that noise? It's nothing. Just broke a glass. Oh, you. I was worried someone got hurt. No, I'm fine. You know where you can find another glass? Uh, no, no. As far as I know, that was the last cup in purgatory. Dang. But who knows? Maybe you'll find a cup eh, lying around. You mug, be kidding me. Honest tea is the best policy. Okay, I better go tell Oliver he's not getting his orange soda. Okay, see ya. I'll be in the attic if you want to hang out. Take care. Poor Oliver. He doesn't get a drink now. Hi, Kyung and son. Okay, um... <laughs> oh, God. Is he okay? Oliver? Oliver, I couldn't find a cup to put your soda in. He's fast asleep. Put a blanket over him. Grab the blanket from Oliver's bed and drape it over his shoulders. Andrew, stop it. He freeze. Just five minutes. He's slowly back away from the other. You are reading it to the door. You knock over a tin, tin can full of pens. Ah, what? Sorry, I didn't mean to wake you up. But it's okay, just... Oliver stares blearily at you, then his papers. How long was I out? Uh, I'm not sure. Just got here. I wanted to tell you that I couldn't find a cup before the orange soda. Ah, fuck. I'm gonna miss the deadline. What deadline? The thesis deadline. It's in... It's... Where am I again? Purgatory? Oh, right. Purgatory with two R's. I remember I was very intentional about that. I'm sorry about that. I don't know what came over me. Thank you for waking me up, but I should get back to work really really think you should take a break you must be really tired if you fell asleep at your desk like this i'll be fine flame this is important this is the only lead that i i know i know i'm just worried about your health and stuff i appreciate the concern now please i have to get back to work fine Oliver yawns thank you i'm glad you see reason will you at least stretch every now and then oliver oliver <laughs> oh sorry he fell asleep again yeah i know maybe Maybe you have a point. Yeah, thought so. Uh, I don't know. I can't just sit around when there's work to be done. 
Well, you don't have to sit around and do nothing. Maybe you can go for a walk. Get a change of scenery or something? A walk where exactly? Um... The park. That sounds agreeable. Let's go then. I know. Maybe I can just finish annotating this data and- Yes, right now. Come on. Alright, alright. Oliver follows you quietly to the park. This is nice, right? Some fresh air and exercise. I'm not sure if this air is fresh. But look at all the trees. The trees make oxygen, right? Living ones, yes. I think all these are dead. Oh, right. Fucking silence for a while. I wonder who's buried here. Hm. Whoever it is, they must have made a grave mistake. Ah. What's on your mind? Nothing. Just tired. Fair enough. You know what's on my mind? Airline food. What's up with that? The little, pre the little pressure. The little pressure on plane makes your taste bud less sensitive, so food tastes work. Oh. Cool. Uh, Want to sit on that bench? Sure. Sit next to each other. You know, I've always had a hard time admitting that I'm wrong. Oh? Yes, I was always a somewhat, somewhat, somewhat stubborn person. I guess it hasn't really changed since dying, huh? I remember in middle school, it was kind of a stupid story, but on the way to school one day, my brother pointed out that my shirt was inside out. Mm -hmm. The funny thing is, I already knew that it was inside out, but I didn't want to acknowledge that he was right. So I just left it like that the entire day. I told my friends it was an inside joke, and for some inane reason, it started catching on. School was plagued with inside out clothes for weeks. Nice. Truly a trendsetter. Yeah, in a way, yes. That's kind of silly, isn't it? I wore my sh shirt inside out for a month just to prove my brother wrong. Oh, you were just a kid. Kids do all sorts of dumb things. I suppose so. Wanna play tic-tac-toe? Sure. I love pulls out a pencil and draws a board. I'll go first. Hmm. I wouldn't have done that if I were you. Oh. Oh. Damn, I lost. I win. Damn. Up for another? Sure. You can go first this time. Alright, how about... Yeah, we're gonna tie. Tell me this time. That's an improvement. Just watch. I'll get you next time. We'll see about that. Let's do another. Don't say anything. I can tell from your face that was a bad move. Yeah. How does this keep happening? Oh, damn. Another win. Ugh, I messed out up. It's okay. Maybe you'll get me this time. It's your turn to go first, by the way. Right here. Oh, another stalemate. I hope you're growing tired of this. Hey, not quite yet. Man, I really suck at this game. Oh, well, that's not necessarily true. And why? Sure. Oh. What? I didn't... Ah, uh, I didn't even see that. I guess I just suck at tic-tac-toe. Well, to be fair, tic-tac-toe is a solved game. What do you mean? I mean, the perfect strategy for this game is known. Since I'm using that perfect strategy, then it's actually impossible for you to win. Oh. Well, why do you even play this game if you know you're going to win or tie every time? Eh. Honestly, I'm not sure. Because you're a dude head, that's why. Maybe it's because deep down, I just like feeling- I just like feeling of being successful. Oh. Sorry for calling you dude head. That's fine. Sorry for not letting you win. Eh, that's fine. And- Sorry for being such an ass to you earlier. 
I was tired and frustrated, but that's no excuse. You need to apologize. You were caught up in your work, I get it. Yes, but that's exactly the problem I've always had. I get caught in my work and then, well, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Do you want to talk about it? You see, when I died, I was working on my thesis. A little conjecture and obscure number theory problem. I'd already spent several years chipping away at the project, but I was stubborn. I didn't want to admit I had wasted all my time researching an inter intractable problem. I, I didn't want to feel like a failure. Feel silly to say this, say it now that I'm dead. I'm sorry, you probably don't want to hear any of this. No, it's okay. I don't mind listening. Well, as I grew desperate, I started spending more and more time in my apartment researching. Meanwhile, life just moved on without me. My mother, she passed away. My friends fell out of touch one by one. For God's sakes, I hadn't gone on a date in years. But what really haunts me is one day, my other only brother got in touch. I didn't talk to him in a long time, but I was the only family he had left, and he needed help. But I... Well, I was out of grant money, so I didn't think I could. Well, I calculated that. I mean, taking into consideration my brother's lifestyle... Never mind. It doesn't matter. I'm so sorry. It's fine. The point is, I gave everything up for my research. Everything and everyone. Before I could even finish, there was a car accident. I remember... I remember, it was a snowy night, the headlights were so bright, and I thought, at least now I could see my mother, and apologize for everything, but... You hug Oliver. There, there. It's all in the past now. All you can try to do is move on. Yeah, maybe that's what I, what they would have wanted. Let Oliver cry into your shoulder for a while. Eventually he draws himself up. Um, I should go. Are you going to be okay? Yes, I'll be fine. I think... We're going to take a nap. That is a very good idea. And, um, thank you for playing tic-tac-toe with me. You're welcome. I'll see you later. See you. Oliver charges away. What? This is where you play tic-tac-toe. What? That was so sad. Alright, so it looks like Numa's finished with her poem, but... That is actually where we are going to call it for today. If you enjoyed, hit the subscribe button. And if you want to see more Purgatory or just more of me, hit that subscribe button down below. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye bye